welcome to Kick It Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look on a different way to masking. In our previous tutorials, we'll look how to mask by using the selection tool or using the calculations, select by color different ways. The other way we can use it is by using the uh, pen tool, creating path and creating vector mask. As well, what I want to look is how we can combine vector mask with a other masking, raster masking. For example, in right here in the hair, if we look on this top area, let's zoom in, you can see right here we have a hair where we can select probably by the color range, but also how we can combine that mask with uh, vector masking. So let's begin working on this. And I'm begin by creating a new layer. This will be my work area. If you have it open as a smart object or you can convert to the smart object for purpose of this tutorial as a masking, I will just work with a normal layer. So next what I'm going to do, it is select first this mask. We'll go to the select color range and I'm just click and select maybe a little bit more fastness, kind of way a little bit and I don't really worry about this bottom. What I worried about, look on this side, was a hair going like this a little bit straight out. So that area look okay. I'll click okay. The next, what I want to do, I want to actually select very close right here, this area. So let's do this. I'm going to select the tool. Okay, we'll go click on Alt button, hold down till you see it's minus. And actually, I'm going to just wrap very close around here. Okay, like this. And just closer to the area. Okay, let's go next, zoom out. And now I also want to go ahead and just deselect all these other areas around. So what I wanted is just this selection, this small area around the hair. When it's selected, I'm going to click on a creating a layer mask. And you notice right here, this is all what I have. It's a short areas around the hair. This is what I'm masking. Okay, let's go next and we'll start creating path. To do this in uh, Photoshop, we'll select the path tool and we'll start drawing around. So in it's easy, you can just select next point and it's vector. If you extend, you can uh, change angle. If you just don't, you'll have it straight, but don't worry, we always can come back and refine or change the shape and we'll look on this uh, after we complete this mask. So I'm going very close right here. And next I'm just going very rough for purpose of this tutorial. Again, if you do um, one very fine mask, you always can zoom in closer, hold down space bar and move your image. And you can also create more defined masks here, you know, a little bit smaller more accurate mask. Again, for purpose of this tutorial, I'm just we're going very fast, very rough creating mask on this. Okay, so let me go ahead and pause this tutorial till I'm done with creating path over this image. Okay, so right here it's done. What we need to do now is creating vector mask. You can go select the vector, right click and you right here find create vector mask. Let's click. You notice we have a vector mask enable. Okay. And right here is our image. Okay, we'll select the mask and press Ctrl I to invert. So you notice we have our mask down with the hair right here. On the top of the image, we have a little bit come out, and this has become a benefit of using um, mask tool. So we can still select our mask tool 
and you can use the button by control keys or shift key depend let's click control we'll click on a path you can see now we have our control points okay for example we come closer and if you press control and hold key you can manipulate so we can actually take and readjust bring our path a little bit closer okay maybe change angles as well if you need it you can go ahead and remove if you need it or add it additional control point so again we'll go over here let's press to readjust our points okay right here on this side we have a little bit more again if you press and hold down space bar you can move around okay right here actually what I want to do is readjust the points bring them a little bit closer Here. so also you'll notice right here we can readjust so if you hold down shift button you can create additional point and if you need to add some uh, barrel some uh, curve you press hold down alt key till you see your icon switch kind of error and now you can stretch and adjust so it's normal vector tools you can be familiar before okay also right here you notice we have um kind of point inside so we can go zoom in and create additional mask just you know for this area let's go back to this area I'm clicking out to select and we can go readjust maybe add additional point we can see with the vector masking it's easy to readjust faster and instead going through all edge and using some other tools like we have it before you can easy apply it as well Again, right here we can go and readjust a little bit our mask. If necessary, add a little bit smooth curve to this. Just reposition. Again, in this way, you can go and refine, create um, bear adjustment mask. Okay, let's say right now you can go and do over, but I kind of don't want to hold it tutorial just on this. So in here we have it our um, done with our masking and everything other things we can also apply it if you're using this as a smart object you can add filters and I do recommend you to watch our uh, smart object tutorial where we go over how to create and what benefit is giving to you but let's say you're done with this image and next you want to integrate with digital backgrounds so let's see what I have it and how fast we can integrate that okay, so right here I have some background I created in Vue render all I need to do is just take our image drag on top placed right here you notice we have it all of our layers is available okay so now be sure you select just one layer so if for some reason you select the mask you can click to deselect and when it's selected we go to edit transform and we go to scale so right here I'm going to scale a little bit down just see when what is kind of playing with image see if it's look better this way actually I really want 
position. Maybe right here actually will be better. And bring a little bit more. Right here will be nice. Okay, we'll go, and go ahead and place this time. You notice if for some reason you miss, you still have it your mask. We can go inside the path tools and realign, so remove some of this green effect. This um, again, we can go inside. Okay, select it. Let me zoom in right here a bit closer. Okay, we'll go select the path. And again, we can fix it if you need it. A little bit readjustment. Okay. Again, this is benefit of this masking. So we can go back. Uh, same like refine on top right here with the hair. Okay, right this area. We can always can go inside, right click, and go to the refine mask. It's feathering just shift a little bit edge so right here notice we because we're shifting we start opening here these areas it's where we need to go back and after readjust okay I'm just try to remove this green one and of course we can enable smart radius and just enable calculations. Okay, we can click OK. Again, this is very rough what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's click closer, zoom in, right here this area. Again, readjusting. Maybe add a little bit curve. Can add a little bit more curve to the area right here. Okay. Just readjust the mask. Next, of course, um, we can apply additional filters. And you can look on our other tutorials where I work a little bit more with the image. But overall, here is a, how you can create a vector based mask combined with a raster ma based mask to take this object, uh, remove from scenery, and reuse in your next compositions. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this does on the web is www.geekatplay.com.